Welcome back, this is the Amma Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Monster Ball. Oh my gosh, that's wet. Holy cow, I just got my uh, my water bottle, filled it up with water, and uh, put it on my desk, but not my little coaster thing. And it got my desk all wet. Oh dear lord, I'm so bad at this. I restarted my computer, and I did not uh, open up my... Corsair Utility Engine stuff. Oh wait, I can just do it from here, can't I? IQ Launcher.exe, yeah. I don't have to go through all that hassle. Alright, alright. So next day, after I'd been experiencing some pain, it was really painful, okay? Uh, it wasn't that painful, but uh, I'd rather keep it that way. But, uh, no more pain. Pain be gone. And I'm feeling great. I don't talk about chess much these days. Uh, I just, I don't really want to be... I, 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 I just, I kind of feel bad when I'm talking about chess. So I only really talk about it when it's hyper relevant or uh, if I'm super excited about something. Um, Because then it kind of outweighs the, the feelings of, of badness that come with it. Uh, but uh, last night... Yeah, I think it was last night or this morning. Um, I finally reached a thousand elo on chess.com, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty pleased with that. Again, I don't really want to talk about it too much because I just, I just, I feel bad talking about it. But I am pretty proud of that achievement, so I wanted to, I wanted to mention it at least. Um, yeah, it felt good. I don't know where my. Um, Oh my god, I keep... I'm so bad at drinking water. I uh, have like a... A bottle. You know? And it's got some... Um, a lid. But I don't use it. I don't use the lid. I use... Um, the open air. And... <laughs> uh, when, I, when I drink, when it's like full... You know, you tilt it a little bit to dump it in, and then you pull it back, and if you go too quickly, it kind of like flops back on itself, it causes a little miniature wave in the bottle, and then uh, splashes back up, right up my nose. Super unpleasant. Not a big fan, not a big fan. So bad at drinking, it's like splashed water all over my face. And I mean, like I was saying, I don't know where my... Um, Ice cube tray is gone. I it's it's not in my freezer where I left it. It's just it's just gone. It's just gone, dude. Uh, a lot of my things are actually going missing. I'm like I don't know. I don't live in a family of thieves, but I don't know where everything's going. I'm missing some some lamps. Um, I got I've got a few lamps set up. Well, I don't have them set up. I got one lamp set up. Um. Oh dear lord. I'm I'm trying to like clean out the water from my nose right now as we. Kind of go about life right now. Oh dear lord! Yeah, we're just we're just dead. I killed myself with the uh, with water. Oh my god! It's like right at my nose. I'm like, I don't want to pick my nose to get it out, but like it's bothering me. Um. Anyway, anyway, what was I talking about? I was talking about something that matters, right? Thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't. I don't live in a family of thieves, but my stuff keeps going. I had uh, two lamps that I'm missing. Two little like uh, clamps with light sockets on them, so I can clamp them onto places and get uh, some good lighting for for video recording. Those are gone. Two of them. I'm uh, missing like like the light bulbs that I use in them. Those are gone. Um, missing a lot of clothes, so that's always normal. I'm, I'm missing, uh, what was the thing that I was saying I was missing? The thing that spurred this all on? My ice cube trip. It's gone, dude. It's not in my freezer anymore. And it's, it's like my freezer. I'm the only one that you, who's going to my freezer and, and taking my ice cube tray out of it. It's a little bit, it's a little bit rude. It's a little bit rude for sure. 
I'm just glad nothing uh, super expensive is going missing. And the thing is, it's like I can ask people where the stuff is, and they just they don't know where it is. <laughs> you, somebody moved it. We, we we didn't have like some robber come into the house and like. Take just my my light sockets, my ice cube tray, and, uh, and a couple of shirts. You know, like <laughs> one of you guys picked it up and moved it. I just uh, I just want to know where it is. So if uh, you know if it was something expensive, it would uh, I'd, I'd probably just like not get it back for a while. Just because somebody else picks it up, moves it somewhere, and then loses it, and I'm like, uh, yeah, that's mine actually. We need to see by these it's uh, <laughs> that's mine. I had um, this this is one that I I can accept having been thrown out. But I keep a piece of cardboard with my my knife and my whetstone. Although I don't keep them like necessarily directly with each other, they do go in uh, in relatively close proximity. And. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd I'd keep them sort of together, uh, and the the cardboard went missing once. I'm like, yeah, I can kind of understand that one because it's just like a piece of cardboard. But you, you need cardboard when you want to show off with your knife. Cardboard, uh, I, I gotta get like a proper strop. But uh, if you don't have it, a piece of cardboard's good. It's crazy, but um, like. Dragging your your knife along once it's been sharpened like adequately sharpened Dragging your knife along like a piece of cardboard or a piece of leather or something like that something that's not like Strong enough to actually like affect the blade much, but Which ha it's it's put is there's like a specific. Oh my god. I'm just bad uh, It's got to have like specific like micro crystals or something in it um, Which will change like or, or it'll 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 realign the the blade on like a microscopic level or something like I don't know the science behind it I just know that I watched a video and they're like yeah do this so I, I do it um, it's crazy because you know you can sharpen your knives and get them nice and sharp and then uh, you know you're, you're still not quite at like the sharpness that you want just like a little bit off and then you like drag it along a piece of cardboard a few times not back and forth you only drag it like away from the blade you're not trying to like cut with the blade you're trying to like drag it away and just kind of push all the the bits at the blade kind of together at least a few minutes. you just do that a couple of times and all of a sudden the blades like stupid sharp and uh it's uh it's crazy but it, it works it totally does and now that that kind of sharpness doesn't hold for long. It's 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 more of a showcase kind of thing when I'm just kind of having fun with it. Um, because like y y you cut something with it and it's like basically gone. Like anything practical, like you're cutting like a some some lami or something like that, and that that sharpness is it's gone. You know, that sharpness is is no more. Um. So it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of, uh, just, just for showcasing it to me. But it's fun, right? I enjoy it. I do gotta sharpen some knives again soon. You gotta sharpen, uh, there's, there's a couple of knives that I've been working on for a while now, which are, uh, just, just kind of problem knives, you know. Like we, uh, we got some some knives from my grandparents uh, a while back, and they've got chips and cracks in the blades, and um, they're they're really really thick blades. Um, so I've 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 been slowly, 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 <laughs> kind of. Wearing them down, thinning them out a little bit. I don't want to thin them out too much because they're my parents' blades. Um, and, uh, like, I don't I don't trust them to not snap it, <laughs> you know, like at a certain point. Um, so I want them to be thick enough that, that my parents can still, like, 
abuse them to a certain extent, you know, smash garlic with them and and uh, scrape the blades along the, the cutting board to start getting everything together. You know, you, you can't do that with like a laser guto or something, you know, because um, you'll just damage the blade, you'll damage the, uh, the metal, snap it, crack it, you know, pop it. Um, it's just, it's just bad, right? So I've uh, been thinning them down a little bit. Because my parents are at least, like, somewhat responsible with their blades. I don't have to be that concerned about it, but, uh... Um... I, I wanna... I, I don't... I don't necessarily trust them. Like, my blade... My, uh, my Santoku is, is very... Is it Santoku? I believe so, right? It, it's very thin. It's not like a... It's not laser guto or whatever. It, it's... But it's 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 adequately thin, and uh, I certainly wouldn't want to be like dragging it when I'm cutting garlic, like just dragging it across and like adding that kind of like tension on on that axis of the blade because I don't necessarily trust it. Um, but uh, you know, their their German knives are very thick, very sturdy blades, but not necessarily that good at cutting. So you, you gotta find a nice even balance. And the ones that my grandparents had are just not that balance. <laughs> they are way thicker than they have to be to not snap to, to normal use. Or even like abnormal use. Um, they're they're like just way too thick. It makes it hard to even like cut things with them. Um, so I've been thinning them out a little bit. Gradually, slowly, but gradually. You know, um, every time I sharpen them, I, I, I take off, a, you know, maybe a couple of milli or not, not a couple of millimeters, my god, uh, but, you know, uh, a few micrometers, I guess. Just little bits, little bits at a time, just kind of slowly refining the blade uh, into, into a, a very nice, respectable knife uh, in time. I don't have, like, a whetstone that's low grit enough wear down like a very hard steel like that anyway um, in one sitting so it's 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 a uh, they are noticeably thinner but there's there's still work to be done and I'm just I'm not gonna do that all in one go um, I would like to get a lower grit uh, whetstone I, I don't want to spend the money on it you know it's crazy I order so much sushi but I can't justify like spending 30 bucks on a whetstone <laughs> I don't know why. Sushi's more important, I suppose. I mean, I can justify it. The, the reality is, is I have other things that I'd rather buy first. Um, before a, a whetstone. But, you know, whatever. Um, not necessarily something that's can help with knives. But just, just other things in life, you know. Anyway. Uh, I've got those, uh, those knives that my grandparents left us that are really thick. That I've been... Uh, thinning out a little bit and just kind of making better you know just kind of making making them kind of better all around and then I also have a, uh, a pairing knife um, which is, has a similar kind of problem it's very thick um, although a pairing knife, a pairing knife kind of needs to be thick because that that's a blade that gets abused for sure see you dude that's a blade that gets abused um, you want it to, to be reasonably thick. So I've been thinning it out a little bit, but my, my goal for that one is, like, even thicker than my goal for... Well, not, like, thicker, but, like, relatively speaking, you know? Because the blade itself is, thin, is is smaller, so it's, it's you know, kind of got that going for it as well. Um, but I would like, uh, I would like a, a nice pairing knife. And I, I like sharpening knives too, right? It's the other thing. So, you know, I could go buy a better paring knife, but I've already got a good one. Well, it's not like a good one. It's, it's a cheapo little thing, but I've already got a, a blade that I can use, and it's uh, it's a good opportunity for me to, to at least refine my sharpening, you know, skills. Um, so I've been, uh, I've been, I've been working on that one. I want to get it like stupid sharp, that one. That's kind of my, uh, my goal with that one, for sure. So it's probably going to be my thinnest knife, but uh, like relatively speaking, since it's also so like small, it'll probably be like given the ratio of 
blade height to, to thickness. Probably the, the most... Oh my god, are we just gonna die again? Really? <laughs> we can't even win in this video? My god. Why did I even go through this way? I don't know. Um... Yeah, so I'll, uh... It'll, it'll probably be the thinnest knife, but the, the ratio of, like, blade height to blade thickness is, is probably gonna be thicker than any of my blades. Um, but just because it's so small, it's, uh, it kind of gets the advantage in a sense. Um, anyway, yeah, I've, I've got those blades. I want to sharpen some scissors as well. Because we don't really have any good scissors. I gotta sharpen our uh, serrated blade as well. Um, although I'm not super confident in sharpening a serrated blade. I know you can, because only one side of it is actually serrated. The other side of the knife is just normal. So you just sharpen that one side. Um, and like the serrations just kind of move because you have even pressure on all of it, right? So they just kind of get pulled back with the blade as you kind of go. Um, I'm not super confident in my, my uh, sharpening ability yet, so I'm not gonna try it on like our only serrated blade just yet. I'll, uh, I'll see if we have another one or... No, we're not playing that map next. Uh, I'll see if we have another one. Or, or like, buy one for practice. Because um, it's it's got problems. It's not very sharp. But, I mean, a serrated blade doesn't really need to be that sharp either. Um, because it's serrated, that's kind of the point. Um, but I would like it to be sharper, of course. As you do, right? And you, you can sharpen the one side of it, just... I don't, I don't trust myself to, to not mess up the serrations yet. I'd also have to like inspect the blade to make sure that it's actually like straight, because if it's not straight, then you're not going to be able to apply even pressure on it anyway, and like the serrations aren't going to move right, and then you're not getting like a, that nice serrated effect and cutting stuff the way you want, right? And it's not super important anyway, so I'm like, I just, uh, it's not, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that one for another day. We'll leave, we'll leave that one for another day, yeah. But, uh. Yeah, I've got those two that my grandparents gave me. We've got the paring knife, which I want to sharpen. Uh, and then we have our old, like, chef's knife. Like, German chef's knife. Um, that I work on as well. Though that one doesn't get used, so it, it should still be sharp. It should actually be very sharp still, because I don't believe it's been used since the last time I sharpened it. Um, it should be, like, insanely sharp still. Um, as long as it's been stored right, which I'm not sure it has. But that one's got the same problem. I got to kind of wear it down, and it's got the um, what's it called again? Bolster, the full bolster or whatever. Terrible, terrible thing. Gets in the way. Um, so I can get rid of it, then I can just have a nice knife again. No, then nobody uses it. I can't. I wasn't allowed to for a little while because my mom didn't want us to because she thought she'd cut herself once it was gone. I'm like, no, that's not protecting you. Uh, it's just getting in your way. But you know her knife so but now that they don't use that knife anymore i'm like i don't know maybe we can go grind that bolster down i don't know if it's hollow or full or, or, or solid or not though if it's hollow then like you grind the bolster down and the, the knife's ruined because now you get water in there and like mold starts growing and the knife's just the knife's just garbage if it's if it's hollow and you grind down the bolster so i'd imagine it's it's solid though it doesn't seem like it's thick enough to have a any benefit to being hollow but who knows? Maybe it is. Anyway, it's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.